This is Into Math for 3rd grade, lesson 2.4, solve problems with area. The I can statement is I can multiply side lengths to find the area of a rectangle and solve real world problems. As a reminder, area is the measure of the number of unit squares needed to cover a surface. And a unit square has an area of one square unit. Please gather your workbook and a pencil. You can pause this video as needed and then turn to page 47 and we'll start with spark your learning. As usual, when we're reading uh, the information, we will be highlighting or circling important information. So let's begin. Andreas measures the side lengths, that's important, of a rug for his office. So they give us this picture right here of his um, rug for his office and he's measured the side lengths and we show every side has been measured. What is the area of the rug? And it, it tells us that we can draw to show how you can find the area of a rug. And so when we go over and look at the rug, we notice that he has measured uh, four feet, five feet, four feet, five feet. All right, so if you'd like to pause this video and give this a try on your own and then come back, you're welcome to. Otherwise, you can follow along with me, your choice. Okay, so you may have some tiles uh, that you can get out and um, play with and, and make this rug with the tiles that you have. Or you can just use your pencil like I'm going to do and draw the rug um, that's shown. So I'm looking at these lengths. We have four feet and five feet here. And I know that really means that there are four rows because there are four feet. And in each row, there are going to be five squares in each row. So using this information, I am going to draw and create the rug that has four rows and five squares within each row. And so when I do that, here's an example of what that will look like. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect if you're drawing it out or if you're using those tiles, that's great too. Um, and then we can count every single tile, um, but that takes a long time. So I think what, what we're learning is that we actually can make a multiplication equation by using the rows and the amount of squares. And so we would say there are four rows and in each row there are five. So that's really four times five, which gives us the answer of, and you can pause this and try it yourself and come back. But when you do, you'll find that it's always going to be 20. And how can we check that? Well, we can count by fours. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, or we can always um, count all of the squares that we've created. There's lots of different ways that we can check our work, um, but creating this multiplication equation comes from using those lengths, 4 times 5, and that's going to give us the area of 20, which is going to allow us to answer this question here at the bottom. The area of the rug is, and we can write in 20 square feet. Let's take a look at the next page, page 48, under build understanding. We're going to highlight or circle the information that's important for number one. Vicki measures the side lengths of a sheet of paper to make a greeting card. So they, they're going to give us the side lengths of a sheet of paper. How can you find the area, find the area of Vicky's sheet of paper? And then it asks, how can unit squares arranged in a rectangle help you find the area? So you can pause this video and give this a try on your own and then come back or you're welcome to just follow along. It's always your choice. All right, so I'm taking a look at Vicki's sheet of paper, which is located up here. And I'm noticing that the lengths are three inches and five inches. And just like we did in our warm up, I'm looking at the lengths like there are three rows. And in each row, 
right here is going to be five squares in each row. So explaining what I'm going to be doing here, how can unit squares arranged in a rectangle help you find the area? What I've learned is I'm going to just multiply the amount of, or the number of unit squares by the number of rows. And so that's my plan. And so that's what I'm going to uh, write in here is with a rectangle, I can multiply the number of unit squares in each row by the number of rows. And so I can now show my work in the rectangle below here. So I can draw that there are five squares in each row and there are three rows. And here's an example of what that looks like. And I can create a multiplication equation from this drawing. Three rows times five squares in each row and three times five, I can count by um, threes five times and I can count all the squares and I will always get 15. So with this information, I'm now going to answer questions A through C. How many unit squares could fit along the side of the sheet of paper that is three inches? Well, this three inch one here shows that we could fit three unit squares. So we can write that in. And we showed that here because there's one, one, two, three right there. Okay, our next question is, um, how many unit squares could fit along the side of the sheet of paper that is five inches long? And that's here at the top. And so we can count that again here, one, two, three, four, five. And we know that is five unit squares. Notice that we're not just writing the number, but we're actually writing the unit squares next to it. And question B, what multiplication equation can you write to solve the problem? Well, we already did that up here, and so we can just rewrite that again. Three times five equals 15. And the last one, which is what we're trying to solve, what is the area of the sheet of paper? And so we have solved that here. It is 15, but we can't just write it as 15. We're going to say it is square. And then we need to go back up and find out what, what unit were they using? Were they using feet, inches, centimeters? We've been using some different measurements and we will see that it is inches. So we will write inches. So please remember, you can always go back and rewatch this video and you can pause at any time as needed.